Only after awakening do you start to live. Once you become enlightened, the senses function differently because you do not have a self. You are freed of the interference of the mind. So without the mind interfering, you are experiencing life through the senses, which is a totally different experience, which I call living. So the first time you really begin to live and uh, one can't really describe it. One has to experience it. And once you start doing it, you have no problems on this planet. There could be problems, but they never affect you. Even your enemy looks like your friend. You can't think badly and uh, about him and you can't harm him. No force out. It just happens. Interesting. Suppose you see somebody beating a dog, you experience the pain of the dog. So you do not come from a mental concept, oh, he's beating the dog, let's help the dog now. It's not from some mental concept or belief. You experience the pain the dog is experiencing. So you, you just act from that. You don't think and uh, act. It's spontaneous action. That's all. You live in the moment. The awakened one knows that there is nothing to learn. The unawakened one is constantly learning. Value makes character. Sri Bhagavan. Sri Bhagavan's coats. Free will, and divine will, alternatively create the fabric of life. Where there is forgiveness, miracles happen, naturally. Sri Bhagavan What is Absolute Reality? There is no absolute reality. The observer, the act of observation and the observed are the same. Today we bring you the miracle of Madan Bamane who lives in Karnataka. 
a very good sevak of Sri Kalki and myself are into construction business. Two years back, while constructing an apartment, we had dug a bore well for the people who would be staying in the apartment of 19 houses. They were all getting good water supply. But then, suddenly, a month ago, the bore well water dried completely and there was no water supply to these 19 families. Because of this, they started calling us frequently and they requested us to do something about this. Since the old bore well had completely dried out, we planned to go for a new bore well 30 to 35 feet away from the old dried up bore well. As the work began, I started chanting Sri Kalki's powerful pool mantra. As I was chanting, I saw Sri Kalki sitting on a bench. Listening to my prayers, Sri Kalki started laughing loudly. Looking at a laughing Sri Kalki, I too went into laughter and great anand, that is joy, for more than an hour, which cannot be explained in words. Then when I came back to the work site, the water was already coming out of the new bore well. Now the miracle continues. Surprisingly, I saw that there was little water oozing out of the old dried bore as well. So I took a photo. More water started coming out. I started taking a video. Then suddenly the water burst out very high from the dried bore well. This was unbelievable. The apartment is 60 feet high and the water was reaching to the top like a fountain with super force. I had never seen this kind of water force. Seeing this forceful water at that height, my laughter and praises to Sri Kalki also got raised to those heights and I was jumping and dancing. It was unbelievable. Thank you very much Sri Kalki. Kalki Seva Sangha. Everyday Kalki Seva Sangha volunteers carry out various service activities across hundreds of locations all over the country. Every day we present one such activity. Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. Vishakapatnam Sangha members celebrated a grand baby shower function for all the pregnant women at Tagarapuvalasa. Sangha members invited all the pregnant women, conducted a ritual and congratulated them. They also distributed few required medicines, nutritious food items and served delicious food. All the pregnant women felt very happy for the celebrations and thanked all the Sangha members. Sangha members expressed their gratitude to Kalki for being able to bring smile on their faces. <laughs> 